The Mexican said, stop eating. Don't eat anything. For how long? Three months. I said, are you crazy? He said, no, you nuts. <laughs> you ask me if I'm crazy. You've been eating garbage for 30 years. You've been eating garbage. And I'm going to remove the garbage for 90 days and you ask me if I'm crazy. <laughs> what was I eating? Hog maws, chitlin, neck bones, crackling bread, lawn in New Orleans. Eggs, because the grown-ups told me when my penis wasn't getting hard, eat eggs. <laughs> Drink raw eggs. And I did, by the dozens. <laughs> and nothing happened. The Mexicans said, don't worry about it, don't eat. 90 days later, I was no longer impotent, no longer diabetic, no longer asthmatic, no longer with glasses on my eyes, and this stomach hair was 42. What happened to the science that the physician were using, medical science? It didn't work, isn't it, but it worked with me. The herbs work with me. This Bible says, In the book of Revelation, it says 22 verse, and the first chapter, it talks about the herbs for medicine. Am I right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, what could have happened to us that when my brother, who was a preacher for 30 years, went, was sick, and instead of going to God's medicine, he went to the physician to get a chemical in his arm. My brother died 21 years ago. I'm not a preacher. I would never be a preacher. I told that to my mother. She wanted me to be the preacher. I said, no, 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 no. That would be the last thing that I would consider. She said, why? I said, because I want to live truth. Even if it kills me, I'm going to live truth. And truth is, the Bible says that the herbs are for the healing of the nations. But the preacher, when he gets sick, he go get a chemical. What is the message he's sending to God? 